my friends, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 3-25-2021, and today we have for you guys our Daily Dizzy Fresh. Now, today is actually a pretty interesting day as we have for you guys some pro news mixed in with our regular news segments. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure you guys do in fact subscribe with the bell notification on. But not only that, of course, comment down below anything for, again, the YouTube algorithm. So hopping directly into it, our first topic is actually coming directly from my Twitter because I posted... Every season, Epic Games employees get a custom-themed pin. Here is the custom pin for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. And this is found by a Reddit user, I only play as Omega. So, very nice name right there. So, uh, yeah, uh, every single season, Epic Games employees get custom pins. And it looks like for Season 5, they actually got the Mandalorian with Baby Yoda on its back. So, very, very nice pins. Uh, it looks like a lot of people also want these as their pins themselves, as it's actually got a lot of a lot of traction so hopefully at some point uh epic games brings out the ability to buy uh, either replicas of these pins or something similar to them so pretty cool stuff right there uh to top things off looks like lucas over on twitter also figured out the most common skins in fortnite chapter 2 season 6 but not only that some of the more rare skins so according to his bot of like what is it like a couple hundred thousand people Agent Jones is the most popular skin right now in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6, alongside Lara Croft default skins, which is actually quite surprising, uh, Aurora, Tarana, uh, Sparkplug, Lexa, Diamond Diva, Poise Playmaker, and Marigold. So that's kind of like the top, what is it, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So top 10 list of the most popular skins right now. Uh, in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. And according to iTalk Fortnite, one of the most like rare skins right now in Fortnite Battle Royale is actually this skin. So it says, the skin that was least ran during Chapter 2 Season 5 was Axiom, being ran a total of one time from over 1.3 million players tracked through replays. So that's actually pretty crazy stuff right there. And obviously, I think the same goes for Season 6, because obviously, if no one ran the skin in Season 5, why would they do it in Season 6? So, uh, yeah, pretty crazy stuff right there. So, the Axiom skin, uh, it's probably one of the more rarer skins right now in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, what skin do you guys rock on a day-to-day -day basis? And what skins are rare to you, in your opinion? And to our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Fortnite Assist, he said this today. The IOs are everywhere. You have to take a look at this. Within the Catastry emote, in the Fortnite Season 6 Battle Pass, we see every IO symbol on each card as well as a full emblem on the back side, matching with all other instances of the IO symbols. So it says cardistry, emote cards, and yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. So what do you guys think about this down below? Uh, it's definitely a very unique find, and I really didn't think that many people would catch on to something like this, but great work to forward and assist. And he also tweeted one more thing about this. So he said, here are other examples of the various IO symbols we have seen so far. It's also worth noting that each of the similar spires on the map has the same symbol to each other. Could this mean something for this one in particular? So again, some pretty interesting stuff right there. Honestly, not really sure what to make of all this stuff, but I thought it was actually pretty interesting uh, and unique, so I wanted to add it to today's video. Uh, to top things off, it looks like the brand new Llama Rama V2 is out right now, and it looks like you guys have a chance to actually get six free rewards, including a brand new emote that's coming out tonight called the Little Octane Emote. So I have for you guys some gameplay of that in the back of the video, as well as the free rewards. So here's that. Into our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from a guy or girl named Getrix, they made a Fortnite X portal concept. Now, this is one of those concepts that, like, is just mind blowing, and I just needed to cover it. So he said, a Fortnite X portal thread for the whole concept. And already the render just looks so clean, but uh, he also posted all these images that are completely custom. It looks so, so nice. Aperture Science Turrets. These white things can kill you in 000.4 seconds. 
unless you destroy them first, hack them to lure them to your side, and they'll protect you to the end. Aperture Test Chambers. Aperture Science is looking for lab rats. Submit your application if you'd like to apply. Complete all eight testing chambers in order to get four free rewards. And those free rewards look just freaking awesome. So great work so far. And last but not least, it says Boreals is here, or is it? Explore the Boreals, but be sure that you will leave it on time. This abandoned ship filled with deadly turrets and a mysterious prototype of portal gun, which can be attained by opening the vault from Aperture with Love. So there you guys have it, Fortex Portal, amazing concept and very, very well made. And now for the final topic, it is all about the pro news. If you guys came here for that, enjoy it. So this all started with clicks saying this, what was he playing or having anything to do with wagers anymore? Just got personally messaged by Epic and was told to stop or it will result in a ban on my account. I recommend other players to stop as well. Tweeting this so people are aware. Also, I won't be able to play Arena with the amount of effing stream snipers I have, so we'll be starting to play Arena box fights instead, or green vs purple, or goated. And Benji Fish backed him up and said, effing hell, this game sucks. So that's some pretty big news right there. Now we also have for you guys the opinion of some Fortnite YouTubers. So first up is I Talk Fortnite. Fortnite can't be and don't want to be held liable for underage wager slash gambling. They have to enforce this. At the end of the day, it's just a kid's game. And yeah, so in lamest terms, he's 100% correct. And he said exactly what I was thinking. Unfortunately, you know, Epic Games does not want to be held liable for uh, underage gambling and wagers. So it's quite unfortunate news right there that he got a warning ban. But honestly, it just simply is what it is. And uh, quite frankly, Epic Games does not want to be held liable for people and kids uh, gambling underage. So it's kind of self-explanatory if you guys ask me. And something else that people were really like caught up on today was uh, Fresh also said this today. So Mr. Fresh Asian, is Fortnite dying? And this time we have a very popular leaker now saying this. Shinna, while I think your tweet is simply a bait for a response just like mine, I still like to mention that people have the strangest views on when a game is dead. Fortnite pulls extremely good Twitch viewership every single day. YouTubers are still able to pull hundreds and hundreds, if not millions, of thousands of views per video. Got a point right there. Uh, not to mention that Ford as a single game allows many people to make a living simply by playing it. After knowing this, how can anyone consider Fortnite to be dead? So yeah, that's actually uh, a very, very good statement. Uh, not only is I talk Fortnite's perfect for uh, the whole situation revolving around wagers, but uh, Shinna just simply summarized exactly what we're all thinking as well as far as Fortnite being dead. So kind of curious to see what you guys think about these topics down below as they're very sensitive topics and they're actually a uh, very good discussion topic. So feel free to talk about it in the comment section down below. I'll also join you guys as a reply. So I hope to see you guys down there. And unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys for this particular video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to use code HAPPY for 30% off on gfuel.com. And as always, stay happy and have a great rest of your days. If you don't use code HAPPY in the next 30 seconds, you're not going to get 30% off. And also, I will make sure you unsubscribe to every channel except for Happy Power. Understood?